Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share Psalm 79. How long, O Lord? O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the bodies of your servants to the birds of the heavens for food, the flesh of your faithful to the beasts of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water all around Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. We have become a taunt to our neighbors, mocked and derided by those around us. How long, O oh Lord? Will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your anger on the nations that do not know you and on the kingdoms that do not call upon your name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid wastes his habitation. Do not remember against us our former iniquities. Let your compassion come speedily to meet us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, of our salvation for the glory of your name. Deliver us and atone for our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nation say, where is their God? Let the avenging of the outpoured blood of your servants be known among the nations before your eyes. Psalm 79, 1-10 According to the ESV Study Bible, this is a community lament. It was occasioned by a great disaster, most likely the destruction of Jerusalem by Babylon. It recounts the violence and unbelief of the Gentile con conquerors and asks God how long he intends to allow such things. The psalmist Asaph recalls how the conquerors defiled the Lord's temple and how the Israelites have been mocked and laughed at because they have been delivered. They haven't been delivered by God. So this lament is asking God how long will they be allowed to be trampled on by them. Adoration. Bless the Lord who never leaves or forsake us. He is steadfast in his love. Confession. Forgive me each time I get impatient when I don't get answered prayers. Thanksgiving. Thank you for your patience with me, Lord. Supplication. May the Lord hear our prayers and may we have the mind of Christ as we lay down our requests to him. Reflection question. How can we learn to endure suffering during this time of adversity? It is interesting how the world um, avoids adversity. Because in God's economy, in James, it says that when we have trials, we need to be joyful. How is that possible? In the world, according to the world system, they avoid everything that will bring problems or troubles. But in God's economy, the more trouble we have, the more chances we have to endure. The more we endure, it changes our character. It changes our, our, our resilience. It makes us more resilient. It makes us um, grow our faith. It makes us as James said, perfect needing nothing. In other words, perfection in terms of contentment. In Paul, the Apostle Paul always talked about uh, the importance of learning to be content. Whether he says, whether we have, whether I have or I don't have, I still praise the Lord and I still thank the Lord. I think that we should have that kind of attitude uh, when we have all this adversity because if we are grown up in terms of endurance, if we have um, had the skill to be able to endure and without complaining, without um, whining, then we become resilient, we become adaptable, we become um, adaptable to change, we know how to deal with things when they're worst and we know also how to deal with things when, we, when there's plenty. So at this time of our pandemic here in the whole world, we're affected by this COVID-19 for a few months now. And um, 
I think that we should take the occasion to take this as something that we could uh, learn to bear our cross. You know, we've been given so much time to um, for convenience. The world is all about what is comfortable, what is convenient for you, what what should you give yourself pleasure with. But uh, let's put it in perspective that I think God is calling us all to connect to each other, to let it be about people, let it be about how are we going to help our neighbors, how are we going to help the vulnerable, how are we going to, even in this time of um, danger, dangerous times where uh, our life is at risk. But um, for the believers, I think this is a good reminder that this is the time that we need to exercise how to shine for the Lord and how to really love our neighbors uh, con unconditionally um, and how to be able to be wise and at the same time still connect and help others. Thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks and photographs and for a copy of this vlog and I encourage you to um, subscribe to this channel so that I'll be making more videos to praise the Lord. Thanks for watching. God loves you so much. Stay safe. And um, even though there's such a thing as social isolation that is, we're being asked to um, use the social media to still feel connected and so people will uh, not feel so alone. Thanks for watching.